Yeah, that's right, Sonica. I mean, the waves are definitely still pretty big. We're up here a little bit from the beach just because it is dark out out there and we don't want to disturb uh, the turtle and all the turtle nests. But yeah. Yeah, Sonica. Well, Wall Street here is still closed. You can see there's nobody here. The signs on these uh, bars over here still say that these bars are closed. But starting tomorrow, that's all going to change. Bars will officially on Monday be allowed to reopen at 50% capacity and with social distancing. Now, of course, that looks different, and a lot of people are wondering what exactly that's going to look like inside of a bar. Well, tonight is the first Friday that bars have been back open in more than two months here in Florida, and many people are wondering what exactly this first weekend is going to look like. We spoke with the co-owners here at the Nook off Robinson. They took us through their plan for this first weekend. Well, it was opening night of high school football here in Orange County, but this year is unlike any other. Deputies say Wallace confessed to her role in this death. She's been charged with aggravated manslaughter of a child as well as neglect of a child. Really just a sad story all around. This is what Biketoberfest looked like last year. Hundreds of motorcycles lining Main Street, thousands of people walking up and down the sidewalk. But on Thursday, Main Street was quiet. The only one out was Tom Guest, the actual longtime organizer of Biketoberfest. Do you think that this ruling by this appeals court could have a big impact on the election results here in Florida in November? Which means that about 700,000 ex-felons here in Florida will be able to vote in November's election despite this court reversal. That is a number Desmond told me he thinks could still have a big impact on this election given that Florida is notorious for having such close elections. In Orange County, I'm Kelsey Thorne. Wesh, two news. But the worst of the actual weather does seem to be out of here. It's not raining anymore. It is still, though, pretty gusty. Earlier today, though, was a different story, and it wasn't just here on the coastline. It was also even inland. It was a blustery day across Central Florida Sunday in Brevard County. The continued rain and wind churned up some big waves off the coast. A treat, really, for surfers in Cocoa Beach. How has it been today? Uh, choppy. Uh, definitely had to have eaten your Wheaties this morning if you were going out there. It was a lot of the same up the coast in Volusia County. You can see in these videos sent to us by our own meteorologist, Eric Burris, waves lapping up to the seawall. But it wasn't just the coast. More inland areas also got a lot of rain. In Sanford, the city said it got so much rain that it impacted the sewer system. That water is strong enough to be pushing the covering, the metal covering up, and it's all that's a lot of pressure. The impact so big, city officials put out a release asking people to decrease the number of times they flush the toilet for the next 24 hours. Now, there was also some isolated flooding up in parts of Volusia County, even yesterday when they saw that big come uh, rain come through that night. Again, though, the real worry tonight will be if there's any more beach erosion or anything like that with the high tide that's expected to come here about in an hour. When it comes to the actual rain, though, it does seem to be much clearer now than it was earlier today and yesterday. For now in Brevard County, I'm Kelsey Thord. Sonica, back to you. Sure.